In these questions, we have a chemical reaction and we're provided with the equation for that reaction. Here we have F2 plus 2NaBr gives Br2 plus 2NaF. And our goal is to figure out which of the elements in this uh, reaction were oxidized and which were reduced. So to do that, we're going to find the initial and final oxidation numbers of the elements. And based on that, we're going to decide if they gained or lost electrons, which will tell us if they were oxidized or reduced. So this is why we have learned to calculate the oxidation number. It's so we can figure out what's going on in these reactions to decide if oxidation or reduction occurred. So first, let's find our oxidation numbers for each of our elements. So I'm going to go through this a little bit more quickly because you should already have practiced this in the previous skill, calculating oxidation numbers. Okay, so firstly, if I write out my equation a little bit bigger for us to look at it. Okay, so here we have F2, diatomic fluorine. Okay, so we know that overall this compound must have an oxidation number of zero. Therefore, fluorine must have an oxidation number of zero. So fluorine is going to be zero to start with here. Okay, then we have this compound here, NaBr. So sodium and bromine. So since we have bromine, we know that the... Uh, Oxidation number of bromine is negative one because it's a halogen. Therefore, sodium must be positive one so that those cancel out to give a zero overall since it's a neutral compound. Afterwards, we have Br2, bromine as a diatomic uh, element. Overall, the oxidation number of this must be zero. So that means the oxidation number of bromine here must also be zero. Finally, we end up with NaF. Fluorine is always negative one as its oxidation number. So Na sodium must be positive one here. So the overall, the oxidation number of that compound is zero. So that was my first step, calculating my oxidation numbers. So I'm gonna fill those in on my table now. So fluorine started as zero and it ended as negative one. Sodium started as positive one and ended as positive one. Bromine started as negative one and ended as zero. Okay, wonderful. So we've got our oxidation numbers. Next, we need to figure out if we have a gain or loss of electrons. So we need to remember that if we gain electrons, that means we become more negative. Or instead of thinking in terms of negatives, we could think of terms of positives. If we become more negative, that's the same as becoming less positive. On the other hand, if we lose electrons, and electrons are negatively charged, losing electrons means we become less negative. which is the same as saying we become more positive. So first looking at fluorine. Fluorine started as zero and ended as negative one. So fluorine is getting more negative. So according to our options here, becoming more negative, that's gaining electrons. So fluorine has gained electrons. What about sodium? Sodium started as positive one, and ended as positive one. So sodium hasn't changed. So is there gain or loss? There's neither. Lastly, bromine started as negative one and became zero. So it's becoming less negative, which is the same as becoming more positive. That means it must have lost electrons. So bromine experiences a loss of electrons. Okay, finally deciding, have each of our elements been oxidized or reduced? We're gonna remember our mnemonic, which is oil rig, 
which tells us oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. So fluorine has gained electrons, therefore reduction has happened. Sodium has neither, it's neither gained or lost electrons, so neither oxidation nor reduction have happened. Bromine has lost electrons, and loss of electrons is called oxidation. So you can see our steps here are firstly, figuring out the oxidation numbers of our elements before and after, using the same techniques practiced in the previous skill. You can always go back there and try those again in the extra practice if you need more help on that before getting started here. Then we're looking at the gain or loss of electrons before the initial and to the final oxidation number. Finally, we're figuring out, does that mean oxidation or reduction has occurred using our oil rig mnemonic? Our final question asks, is this a redox reaction? Redox stands for reduction and oxidation. So if we have reduction and oxidation happening, it's a redox reaction. So here we have reduction and we have oxidation. So the answer here is yes, this is a redox reaction. If we had neither for all of our answers here, we would have neither reduction nor oxidation happening. And the answer would be no, it's not a redox reaction.